not buy these. Do not stop. Collect $200. Go, sis. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shaylin and in today's video I'm bringing you babes the highly requested skims items that I returned or items that I wish I did return. Okay y'all, I know y'all know your girl's a skims connoisseur. I dibble and dabble in all things skims baby. And if you think I'm that girl that has no misses, baby, I'm not her, she's not me. So skims, if you see this video, y'all wanna do me a little refund, give me a little gift card baby, yeah. Mama's not choosy, okay? Now, I do want to address the elephant in the room. Your girl is sick, girl. Allergy season is kicking my butt. So if my voice is a little nasally, a little masculine, girl, let it go. Number two, we are in the living room again. If you are OG, baby, this setup is not different to you. It's nothing new, okay, baby? But we are back out here because my room is currently under construction. I brought Sister Pat in here to give y'all some familiarity. So let's go ahead and jump into these items because I'm super excited. And I know some of these items are probably going to surprise you guys. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Okay, babe, so let's go ahead and jump into the items that I wish I returned from Skims. So these are items that are still currently in my collection that I'm gonna show to you guys. And I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly why I feel as though I wish I returned these items. I am gonna be looking at my phone because I do have a list, baby, because I wanted to make sure I don't forget anything. So the first items up, and I say items because this is really like a collection, and it is the Skims Teddy Collection. As much as I love this collection, as much as I like the way it fits, I like the way it looks, I just did not wear it. Okay, let me show you guys the items that I currently have in my collection. So the first item that I have is this uh, Teddy pullover. I would say out of all of the Teddy collection items, this is the thing that I've worn the most. I just pretty much throw it on with leggings to like go run errands and things like that. But I just feel like this collection is so unnecessary. I just did not reach for it as much as I thought I would. It's not that I think the collection isn't cute. It just personally clearly does not fit my personal style style in my personal lifestyle. I feel like if I've had an item in my collection for such a long period of time and I haven't worn it, that just means that it's not really an item that's like a basic that I can wear all the time. And I also just feel like it's an item that doesn't suit me or my personal style. Otherwise, I would be reaching for it more. So that is the first item from the Teddy Collection. And the next item that I want to share with you guys from the Teddy Collection is actually a two-piece set that still has the tags attached. Okay, that right there tells you this has never been on this body except for in the try-on haul. I love the way this fits. I think it's super cute, it's super flattering, but clearly we are now in spring and she has not been worn and I bought this in the winter. Like, when am I really gonna wanna walk around looking like a giant teddy bear? Like, when? And another thing I struggled with with this set, it's like, girl, if I wear this outside, what shoes am I gonna wear with this? Like, what shoes could I wear with this that would not look crazy? And it's just like, I wouldn't wear this around the house because I would be super hot. It's just not a practical collection in my opinion. Skims has a lot of collections though, and there's very few that I'm like, oh baby, I do not care for this entire collection. And this is definitely one of them. So I would recommend Skims just hang up the Teddy collection, let it go. You know what I'm saying? Cause babies, no. Mm -mm. Next item that I wanna talk to you guys about is probably the most shocking item that I'm going to put in this collection. And I say that because this also fell in to the category of items that I love the most. So if you guys watched my previous video where I talked about all of the items that I love from Skims, you guys know I raved about the Fits Everybody bras. Those are my tried and true bras. I love them, still love them to this day, but there is one bra from that collection that I do not care for, and it is this one. It is the Fits Everybody bandeau bra. I know you girls might want to tussle about this one, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys straight up why I just feel like I would never buy any more of these bras. And it's for the simple fact that these do not look good under clothing. I don't care what type of chest you have, putting on this bra under clothing, it just makes your boobs look weird. Like it makes them look flat. It just don't look good, okay? When I wear a strapless bra, I want the girls to be to my chin okay i don't want them to be like a flattened and pushed down and i definitely think that's what this top does but again it is a bandeau definitely pick them up with the mindset of just wearing these on their own i do think these look really cute as like little bralette tops i think they look really cute really flattering but as far as actually wearing this under clothing it's just it's not a go sis unless you want your boobs to look flat and soggy like i feel like this brings your boobs down i just it doesn't make them sit up in my opinion and i don't even have 
have a large bust so I can just imagine what this does for girls with bigger boobs um, under clothing so this definitely has to be on my items I wish I returned because babe these bras ain't cheap and if I could take these back and go get me my typical triangle fits everybody bras or my scoop neck fits everybody's bras I would 100% do that in a heartbeat okay babe because these is not cutting it so the next item that I want to share with you guys is just the most disgusting out of all of the items and I say disgusting because it's like skims I don't mind paying a high price point I'm cool with it but when I'm paying that high price point I 100% expect quality from the items like there is no reason this item that i'm about to show you guys there's no reason for this item to look the way it does like i have to show y'all these because i'm just so disgusted like literally disgusted and y'all might think i'm being dramatic but y'all haven't seen the items yet and they are these skims slippers now when i tell y'all i love skim slippers i just hate these i do not recommend them do not ever pick them up do not even look at them sis like at this point skims needs to take these off the website because these are just terrible so i'm going to show you all these up close as you guys can see literally it just peels off like as you wear them it basically all of this stuff that it's made out of just peels right off like look at that y'all this is like do y'all see that do y'all see that? Like, ooh, sweetie, no. This is unacceptable because skin slides are, they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap. Like, girl, I can get me some $20 Amazon slides and they will not do this. So the fact that these are basically falling apart, I mean, girl, these things have bald spots. Like, do you see that? It literally has bald spots because all of the fabric keeps coming off. Do not buy these. Do not stop. Collect $200. Go, sis. Okay, go run past these like i'm so disappointed in these and i'm actually happy that i got to experience them for myself because i really love skim slippers the other style i'll put a picture of the other style on screen i love those and i actually was thinking about picking these up to give to people as gifts and i'm so happy that i did it if you have these skim slippers let me know if you experienced this as well like girl quality control what are we doing like what are we doing this is a hot mess like a hot mess do not recommend first of all these look like jesus himself's bedroom slippers you know to me they're not the most flattering looking slippers kim we gotta do better sis so i shared with you guys all of the items in my collection that i wish i returned now i want to go ahead and share with you guys the items that i actually did return now obviously because i don't have these items with me i'll just pop up a picture on screen kind of just like show you guys like what i am referring to the next item on my list that i did return that i just wasn't really impressed with the fits everybody leggings okay so when it comes down to the fits everybody collection a lot of the items are see-through and i just don't understand the point of that like what is the point especially of me having leggings that are see-through like why when i tried on these leggings if you guys want to go watch the full review you guys will see in the review you can literally see my tattoos through these leggings that's how thin they are and for me to be paying like 40 to 50 how many ever dollars these leggings were i just think that's a ridiculous price point like i'm 100 percent okay with skims being intended for wearing in the house and i do understand that this collection is for wearing in the house but i'm just like who would want to wear see-through leggings the way it's advertised is not as like sexy lingerie or anything like that and i'm just like what is the point of these i knew immediately when i put these on my body that i was going to return them and what's interesting is the fits every body body suits i do not have that issue they are not see-through they are such a nice material this is actually a fits everybody body suit that i'm currently wearing it is such a nice material it's not see-through at all but it's like why is the leggings see-through why are the t-shirts see-through why are the dresses see-through to me personally there are some things from the fits everybody collections that i do like which are the bodysuits and the bras and the underwear but everything else girl it's a no for me it is an absolute no for me unless you want the item specifically to be sheer and the next collection and this is the entire collection personally for me i ended up returning this entire collection and it is the velour collection okay if you know me you know i've talked about this collection on my channel before i feel like 
it just didn't look good on me like it was okay like if you go back watch that review it was okay but i wasn't super impressed and i just feel like for the price point of this collection i just knew i wasn't gonna wear it like that you guys i do not recommend it if you are short and i also do not really recommend it if you're curvy like i just did not find this collection to suit me the flared pants were way too long the joggers too much in the crotch area and this collection runs super big you guys like even though i ordered that collection in a small everything was like big and baggy and don't get me wrong sometimes i like that vibe but not when it comes to velour girl like velour i want my you know my my pants to fit tight i want to look like j-lo from back in the day when she had the gold hoop earrings like you know what i'm saying my love don't cost nothing. Mm -hmm. like that's what i was trying to give and it wasn't giving okay and that's i think the problem with that collection as well was when kim advertised it on the models everything looked like it was very tight fitting very snug but then when regular people started to put on their body types it was like this is not the same fit so i'm like kim i don't know if they custom fit yours to your body but baby when i ordered this it was not giving the same thing so i do not recommend this collection i would stay away from this collection i just think skims has way better collections that you should invest your money into so it's an absolutely the hell to the no for me okay babe so those are all of the items that i returned to skims or items that i wish i did return i know there's not a lot of items that i shared with you guys and that's honestly because majority of the things i purchased from skims i love and majority of things I do keep but I did want to make sure I shared with you guys the items that I just felt like I wish I returned or items that I actually did return just in case you guys maybe were thinking about picking up some of these items if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up also leave me a comment down below and let me know which collections from skims you don't necessarily care for or maybe like a bad experience you had with an item from skims I'm curious to know in the comment section below and skims if you're watching this baby I'm still a skims lover but I gotta keep it real with the babes okay baby but I still want to work with y'all though like so hit me up you know what I'm saying I still want to work with y'all I do I do but I gotta keep it real okay baby so yeah but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you babe so much and I'll see you in the next one bye